Good morning, everyone. My name is Daniel Powell, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning with a scripture reading from Luke chapter 4, verse 38 through 44. After leaving the synagogue, he entered Simon's house. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever, and they asked him about her. Then he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. Immediately she got up and began to serve them. As the sun was setting, all those who had any who were sick with various kinds of diseases brought them to him, and he laid his hands on each of them and cured them. Demons also came out of many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Messiah. At daybreak he departed and went to a deserted place, and the crowds were looking for him. And when they reached him, they wanted to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other cities also, for I was sent for this purpose. So he continued proclaiming the message in the synagogues of Judea. That is our scripture reading this morning. If you will, please join me for a time now together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear God, we ask today for more of your Holy Spirit in our lives. While it can be easy for us to become consumed with the fears that surround us at any given time, we know that just as your eye is on the sparrow, so also do you care for and see us. Teach us today to become more reliant on you, Lord, when times are grim. Bring us into a greater knowing of how you operate so that we may come into a deeper understanding that all we see with natural eyes is not all that is. Today we ask for eyes to see your hand in all matters that we experience, and hearts open to your work. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great day today.